This time from the vault, we thought we'd bring you another 1911, only this one is not a Colt or a Colt clone. It's a Steyr Hahn model of 1911. Now this was a military issue pistol. It was issued in Austria-Hungary, Romania, and in South America it was issued by the Chilean Army. It's a very unique gun. It fires a 9mm cartridge uh, called 9mm Steyr or 9x23. In power, it's about the equivalent of the 9mm Parabellum. You've got a 116 grain bullet going at about uh, 1,200 feet a second, give or take, depending on who loaded it. Several unique features about this uh, gun I'd like to show you. The first one is that there's no detachable magazine. It's sealed off on the bottom here, and it's loaded with stripper clips, just like a broom handle Mauser. Kind of unique. Uh, perhaps the thinking was that troops would lose magazines or they couldn't make a lot of magazines or something, but it is a handy, very handy system. In fact, back in the day, you know, they didn't do tactical reloads and fire thousands of rounds through these things. You use your pistol very seldom, even in combat. So this wasn't such a bad way to store ammunition. It came in a box of 16 rounds, two of these on clips. You issue a couple boxes to a soldier and off you go. Nice system. So the way this works, is you lock it back. There's a special safety here that's also a slide lock. And to charge it, you simply put it in. See if I can do this. I don't do this very often. There it goes. At this point, the pistol's loaded. Now, what are you gonna do if you don't wanna shoot it? Well, Steyer figured that out a long time ago. This button right here, you push this button down, all the rounds come out just like that. Nice and easy. Normally you have your hand over there, but I wasn't thinking at the time. Um, other than that, the other unique feature would be, if you look up here, it's got a wedge, just like a 1905 Colt, a 1900 Colt. Apparently this was uh, state of the art back then. A lot of companies were doing it. This particular wedge is a homemade wedge. It's got a screw here. You guys that already know about the Steyr Han, you know there's no screw that belongs here. Well, this was my first gunsmith project in metal. I went to an old gunsmith back in Greenville, Mississippi with this gun that I bought for $99 missing some parts. And I said, I need to find a wedge and there's none available in any of the catalogs. And he said, well, you gotta make one. Well, that blew my mind, but he gave me a piece of metal and a file and sent me home and said, just file and fit and file and fit. And when you're done, bring it back and I'll finish it for you. So I filed that wedge, got the oval nice and symmetric, even bearing, and he took it in his drill press and drilled and tapped a hole in it, put that screw in it, fire blued it right on the spot. I tell you, I was in awe of this guy. It's like he was doing magic. And he was an old amateur gunsmith and a retired florist. Great guy. Uh, the other thing you should know about this gun, it was highly reliable. It was as good as the Colt, the Luger, the broom handle, any of its contemporaries. It fired with the best of them. Very powerful. This round is an extremely good penetrating round. So if you had to shoot through a backpack or a horse or an obstacle, it would penetrate. Not like a rifle, but for a handgun, it would penetrate quite a ways. And let's face it, it is not the most beautiful pistol in the world, but somehow it's so ugly, it is pretty. And as soon as I saw the first one, I decided I had to have one. So this is the reason I like this gun. It's a very practical design for its time. It uh, brings back a lot of memories of gunsmithing projects gone by. And the thing shoots well. If you can see these minuscule sights, it shoots very well. So I only shoot it occasionally because I'm afraid of breaking apart and I'll have to build another one. But uh, all in all, just a great design. If you ever get to look at one of these, or maybe get a good deal on one, don't pass it up. Take a really good look at it. Ammo is still available from Fiocchi, and it's reloadable. So you can load it up to nice standard velocity levels, nice easy loads, and you can shoot it as much as you want. There is one more little quirk about this gun that makes it interesting to me, and it goes back to the craftsmanship that was put into these guns. I'm going to take out this grip screw and if you'll notice the grips are dovetailed into the frame 
They've got little angles cut on each side and they slide in and out. Very well fit and if you look on the underside, you probably can't tell it, but this has really nice grain. In its day, it was a beautiful piece of wood on that grip. You can also see some of the mechanism. You can see that this is a flat spring driving your hammer and some other parts in there. Very well made. A lot of machining went into this gun. And that's what I really like about it. Being a machinist myself, I really appreciate the amount of work that went into this gun. It was rust glued on top of that. These were beautiful when they came off the, the assembly line. And that's it for the 1911 Steyr Han. If there's a particular firearm you'd like to see, leave us a comment and we'll do our best to get our hands on one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from